the 300 squeezed into this overloaded boat was clairvoyant. They had no inkling of the tragedy that awaited them. Not all of these travelers came out alive when tragedy struck. Two days after this misfortune, efforts are still ongoing to retrieve dead bodies and perhaps rescue anyone alive. Uh, no, nobody can exactly tell you the number of individuals that we are on that boat for now. Because even the boat driver, I, I cannot or, or could not tell us exactly the number of people that boarded that uh, boat. Uh, what uh, we are trying to do at the moment, we we are, we are, we are still searching for more, more bodies, as uh, I said earlier. And uh, we have uh, opened a record book where anybody who uh, I, I have a relative missing or who have uh, somebody who have traveled on that route should come and uh, register so that at the end of the whole exercise, we would be able to know how many missing people do we still, I mean, we still have and the those that we have recovered. 36 dead bodies have been recovered as of 6 p.m. today and the rescuers are not soft pedaling. Some nagging questions are unanswered though. For instance, why will about 300 people be allowed to be crammed into a boat designed to accommodate less? And what is the agency empowered to regulate boat travel doing to ensure compliance? The primary cause of this was uh, as a result of overloading. That boat was not supposed to have carried more than more than more than 100 uh, or 150 passengers. Considering you know the old age of that boat, uh, Niwa has the responsibility of uh, you know regulating uh, transport. I mean inland waterways transportation and uh, also enforcing it as well. There is a bill before the State House of Assembly to ensure that uh, you know laws are made that will you know enforce discipline. I mean um, sorry. Um, penalties for those that, uh, you know, uh, go against uh, lay down rules that we share um, is safety in these waterways. The Niger State Emergency Management Agency says it is collaborating with the National Inland Waterways Authority to ensure seafaring safety. The hope is that this synergy results in safety and ultimately a drastic reduction in boat accidents. Thank <laughs> you.